They were once at the top of the heavy metal world. They partied hard and played like no other. Until frontman Eric Halen's drug habit sent the band into a tailspin. This is Behind the Music with Blackmore. It's all about partying, heavy metal, chicks. It's all we did. Blackmore, me, you know, I carried the, the the gear around. You know, I carried them around, drove the bus sometimes, and you know, those guys, they they fuck shit up. Let me tell you, because they, you know, they just copious amounts of drugs, alcohol, just in the back of the bus at all times. Eric especially would, you know, he wouldn't wake up for like 72 hours and we'd just be like you know what the fuck is wrong with this guy and we'd just be driving you know but we'd be like Eric wake the fuck up wake the fuck up you know we got a show to play tonight and he would not wake up they'd pr pretty much have to beat him to wake him up just to play the show doing a Canadian tour and I, uh, I think it was in Vancouver we stopped we had uh, it was the beginning of the tour and we were going across Canada Eric just decided that he wanted to go to Las Vegas. Everybody was like, Eric, we got shows to play. Um, you, you can't do that. You need contracts signed, fans, adoring fans. He decided he wanted to go to Vegas, you know? No rules. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Anyway, so he commandeered the bus, drove down to Vegas, a couple thousand kilometers. And I don't remember much from the trip. The only thing I remember is just Eric He's taking her to the edge every time, you know, just coke, strips, tits, and just unbelievable amounts of drugs and booze. I like I remember one time he just took Nick's acoustic guitar and just smashed it, just fucking smashed it, and you know it was, you know, it was Nick's grandfather gave it to him. I mean. Now that's taking it over the line, but that's not the only time Eric's ever taken it over the line. One time, in California, he uh, he got a hooker and he brought her to the back of the bus. All the guys were like, kind of giving him a hard time about it because you know he's a front man. He can get chicks with a band for him. Anyway, he ended up choking her almost to death. Nick saved him from doing it. She was she was blue, and I just slapped Eric. I was like, man, what are you doing? And uh, Anyway, we were able to pay off the girl enough so she wouldn't go to the cops, but it's just, just a horrible time. Eric Hanlon's behavior began to take its toll on the band. His erratic drug and alcohol binges started to interfere with the band's success. Killing Huggers. Yeah, I got a story about that. We were in... Oops. We were at... Uh, Gatineau. Played a show up there. Uh, and then we you know, started partying. And, uh... Well, you know, those things always do. They got a little bit out of hand. I wouldn't say too badly, but I mean... Well, long story short, we can't go back to Gatineau, you know? I mean, uh... Well, for one, the club's not there anymore. <sighs> Who thought uh, all that, you know, dry wood would go up so quickly? I mean, it was just a bit of gasoline. I mean, I didn't think anything was going to actually happen. But, you know, when they started finding the bodies, that's when uh, that's when we started worrying a little bit. So, uh, you know, we scheduled the tour down to, uh, down to Brazil for a little while, you know, lay low. It was a little bit of, we were down there, yeah, I'd say we lived there for about two years. I mean, once they uh, kind of closed the case on that one, we came back to Canada for a while, you know. But I mean, yeah, now we're on tour again, and it's pretty cool. I mean, we're meeting lots of nice people. Uh, I don't really, uh, 
you know, have too much to say on that though. I mean, touring is always fun, always a parody, I suppose, you know what I mean? We did go to Montreal. Uh, we were uh, roadies for the Blackmore tour. They were opening for Megadeth and Black Sabbath. Um, it was a great time. Those guys know how to party. The Blackmore G? Fuck yeah. There you have it, Blackmore uh, We used to have these things. I know Eric hosted them at this place. They're called a, a Black Orgy. Basically, what it was, it was an orgy with Blackmore and Co. You know, there was, uh, you know, the band, you know, a few roadies. And just fight over hundreds of chicks. It was, uh, it was a good time, you know, they'd last for pretty much all night. You know, we'd do, uh, we'd do some drugs, you know, drink some booze, and you know, it was a good time. It's one of the, one of the times I like to look back at. I've been to a few uh, black morgies. I slept with uh, all of them, but several times. We would be sitting there, and they would just toss these drugs at us, and like, we just lay there and let the black moor come to us. It was amazing. I never experienced anything like it, and I would do it again in a second. You know, I remember coming on the bus and there being like 15 girls in Nick's little bunk. And, you I mean, that, that's serious. Like, to fit 15 girls in there, it's hard to do. I mean, he'd just be passing them out, too. You'd come in and be like, hey, dress here, and then he'd give you a girl. And you'd go do back to your bunk. I mean, these girls were all on coke acid, whatever, you know, they could they go through Eric first and then, you know, Nick would get them and they're all coked out and, you know, he just, you know, go all night. I mean, I remember just like sometimes 24 hours straight, the guy would just be plugging at it, just training in between girls. I mean, it was crazy. The guy, the guy had syphilis coming, to tell you the truth. I mean, we'd be in like dirty places like Montreal, you know, he'd be getting all these French girls and, you know, it smelled. And then the syphilis came, and then Nick started going crazy, you know. Like, first we didn't realize what was going on, but he would just say some of the craziest stuff, you know. The world domination and, you know, just shooting laser beams out of, his, out of his guitar. I mean, the guy actually believed that he could kill people with his guitar after a while because of the syphilis, so. Living with syphilis is, it's hard. 